you guys, it's Steffi Pie and I've got things to say. I'm going to show you in this video how I contour, blush, highlight, all that good stuff so that you guys can see how I get my complexion to glow. So if you want to see that, keep on watching. All right, guys, we're back and I've got you guys scooted in a little bit closer so I can show you exactly how I contour and blush these cheeks. But first of all, let's take a look at my new coffee corner. Look at that. Look at all my stuff. Isn't that cool? Oh, I did this yesterday. Um, if you guys have watched that video, if you haven't, go and check it out. Um, it is me just fixing up my coffee corner exactly how I want it. I picked up all these things from the Dollar Tree and I just, I think they're adorable. Anyway, let's get started on this. I'm going to show you guys how I contour, blush, bronze, all those things to get my skin to look healthy and pretty on a daily basis, okay? So, first of all, I, all I did was put on my uh, base makeup, my um, foundation, my powder, all those things. I got my brows on and all that good stuff. So, first of all, I am going to use this palette that I picked up at the Dollar Store, at the Dollar General. This is the I Love Makeup Contour Palette. I didn't think I was going to like this, um, but because it's so cheap because it's like four bucks but i tell you what if you don't have a lot of money and i know a lot of us don't i've said this before there are things out there that can work this will work you do not have to buy the 40 dollars abh stuff or the 40 dollars tart or any of those things you don't have to go to ulta to get a good look you just have to know how to use these powders correctly and i'm going to show you how to do that today what i'm going to start with in this palette you want to start with a cool toned brown to give that shadow under the cheeks as you can see i don't have a lot of def definition because i'm a bigger girl and my nose is starting to itch again i think it has to do something to do with the powder that i use anyway I don't have a lot of contour, you know, as you can see, I'm a bigger girl. I do have a lot of fat in my cheeks, under my chin. I still have a lot of skin left over from the weight loss. Um, and I, I don't have a very big forehead, but some people need to contour this forehead down. They, they have a, a five head or a six head instead of a forehead. So you got to contour that down so it's more shapely. And you want to contour things so it, it looks oval always contour so that your face will give that oval appearance so if you think it needs to be contoured you'll want to put some shadows right along these lines shadows right here shadows underneath to kind of diminish those well as we've talked before light brings things out which I, I put light on my eyes my nose you know the center of the face anything that you want brought forward you put light on it you'll put the lighter colors on that's highlighting anything that you want to sink in or go backwards it's going to be dark so you're going to use the dark colors for that okay so my first thing and sometimes i go heavy-handed i don't mean to but i'm going to take a brush that looks kind of like this you can take any kind of brush that works for you in the hollows of those cheeks underneath Okay, we're going to go underneath the cheeks because what we're doing is we're creating a shadow. We're not going to go on the cheek. We're not going to go above. We're going to go below, okay? And we're going to just create a shadow. So I'm going to take this cool tone brown right here, okay? And I like to put it on the side of my brush and start slow. And I always go from the hairline down because if you start this way and go that way, it's a little bit obvious, you know. Um, you'll want your darker colors here toward the back of the cheek, the darkest part of it toward the back of the cheek, and the lightest color toward the front. And we're just starting slow and building up from there. Let me get my, uh, let me get my mirror back here because I'm looking in the uh, phone here. I can't hardly see. So you go under that cheekbone and add as much as you like or as little as you like. If you mess up, you can always use regular powder to tone it down. But this is how I do this. Every day, I create this beautiful little shadow. Hold the brush too. If you don't want it to be a really harsh line, don't hold the brush way up here. You need to hold the brush way back here because that gives you a little bit more control over how much powder that you're adding, okay? All right? That's all you're doing is just adding that shadow. And most people would probably stop there. I'm going to go a little bit more. Because I want it to be defined a little bit more. And you can look at the front of my face. You can see how defined that is. See? It gives it more definition. Okay? Let's do the other side. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing. I don't have to contour my forehead. But I'm going to give it that look like everybody wants. They want that 
you know, that oval look. And so you just kind of contour right there at the hairline. Just kind of getting rid of this area here. You see what it's doing there? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go under the chin. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze that up later after I finish the uh, contouring. But we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this double chin if we can. <laughs> Start light. And we're still just using that same color brown, that light color brown. And you see what you're doing? You're just going along that jawline, creating a jawline. And this may not be the right color for you. You have to find the colors for yourself. Create the jawline that we want, then buff it out. All right, do we see what happened there? Isn't that cool? That is awesome. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm ready to bronze now. This is the uh, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Looks like this. It's like $13 at Walmart. It smells like butter. Oh my God, it smells like summer. It is so good. And we're gonna dip in, okay? Coat our brush really well, because I like a lot of bronzer. And this has a little mirror in it too. And we're gonna go just on top of that contour that we created. Use a light hand at first. Go around the face. And all we're doing is warming up that face around the perimeter, okay? You're going back over those areas that you did with that contour. After you bronze the face up to what you want it to be, which I think that looks pretty good, it is time to blush. And right now I'm using this uh, Rad Rouge from LA Colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep back and forth in here, tap off, and I'm gonna put it right above that contour toward the back of the face because you don't want to use a lot of blush, and, but you want it to look really nice. So you're going just above that contour line. You see that? Isn't that cool? And I like to go inside the face too and just kind of put it where any of the other colors are missing. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, guys, and the last thing that we're going to do in this video before we go to our other video, because I'm gonna do some greens. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome, so you gotta stay or stick around for part two of this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, show you guys how I do that to bring out the glow in my face. So I used to use a big brush, um, kind of like this, but I like this smaller brush because you're able to control how much you put on your face a lot better. And I'm also using the LA Color Shobing uh, Powder, and this one is in the color Champagne. This looks a lot like Champagne Pop um, from Becca, which is, you know, Jaclyn Hill. She came up with that, it's beautiful. Um, this is just, costs $2, that's the only difference. So I go ahead and go in. I like to put a lot on there. I like a really strong highlight, some people don't, but Anyway, go toward the back of the chin, the back of the face first, and then add, go forward. There we go. And I like to bring it up on the top of my forehead here and the side. Oh man, that is a very glowy, pretty highlight. I like that. Cupid's bow. Mm hmm. I blend all, the, I uh, put highlighter all the way up and down my nose to kind of highlight the cuteness and the thinness of my nose so anyway that's how we do our complexion and you can highlight as much as you want or as little as you want you do not have to do exactly like I say to do it but you know what this is how I get my skin to glow and to look beautiful and that's how it's done you guys what do you guys think are you enjoying these videos I'm putting out did you enjoy this one give me a like and a th or give me the thumbs up and give me a subscribe if you can so uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying me. Anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And remember, just stick around for part two where I do my eye makeup. So, you know, all right. Hope you guys have a good day. And remember, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Bye.